how's it going once again, my brothers and sisters? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon X Wonderlock. Now, in the last episode, we took on the Ice Type Gym and suffered the death of Magnezone. And then we decided to add Electric to the team. And of course, off screen, we did training to mainly Ditto, Obama Snow, and Minetric. So, Ditto is level 40. I haven't really trained it that much because. I don't really think I'll be that entirely useful. If worse comes to worse, I may just use Ditto as Death Fodder. But he is level 40, he was transformed, and I have him holding a lucky egg. Then we have a Bomb of Snow level 45, with Grass Whistle, Blizzard, Focus, Blast, and Energy Ball, holding the Obama Snight, the Obama Sight. And now the new main net trick to the team. It is a gentle nature, which I'm not sure what to do, but he does have a really high special attack stat. So I did, I gave what I could. So he knows Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, Flash, and Flamethrower. And I have him holding the Amulet Coin. And then of course we have Heracross, all 62, with Bullet Seed, Pin Missile, Arm Thrust, and Cut, which I'm going to get rid of later, maybe after the end of Victory Road. And then he's holding the Heracross, Heracronite. Greninja level 52 with map block, hydro cannon, surf, and extra sensory, holding the king's rock, and Barathorn level 64 with iron head, strength, power whip, curse, holding the rocky helmet. So today we are just going to go ahead and tackle Victory Road, which will also be our last capture for the season, or for the entire gameplay. I don't know why I said season whatsoever. But as a distance, it's just the Elite Form Champion. I just can't believe that. We are almost done with our first series. Now I've left the trainers in this route untackled. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put my nut trick up in the front. Now let's take on this chick right here. Okay, she's opening up a stable, eh? Okay, we were definitely, we're definitely hot, under leveled here. Off screen for the next episode. I'll definitely do a bunch of training for the rest of the team, get them even leveled. With the Elite Four at the least. I have a tricky thing to choose to stay, but I'm going to go ahead and switch into the raw form. I don't think my net trick could do so well against level 55 Sableye. It was going to go for Confuse Me anyway. Poop. Okay, next season file play. Thankfully we have thankfully we have the Rocky Helmet Iron Barbs combo. Come on. Okay, come on. We're doing more damage to ourselves than the stable. Aye, aye. Eesh. And we don't have any hyper potions. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and buy some more after this battle. So let's just switch into Greninja. Okay, let's go sift. Okay, next up is Crustle. You can stay in. Go for Hydro Cannon. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy some hyper potions. And maybe some full heals while I'm at it. So I'm just beating through here. Why not heal? Okay. He's still loading with money. Let's go ahead and buy ninety nine. Just so that we're completely prepped and it'll be impossible for us not to miss out on anything. Then let's see. Then 81 full heals for 99. And some cheaper repels because why not? We have the money. Okay. Yeah. So I look, the six members we currently have will be the last members we'll use. I'll really hate it if someone goes ahead and decides to die on us. So I'll just be... Ugh. But now, before we enter the victory mode, we have one last obstacle. This idiot. Ace Trainer Robbie. Open up with carving. And of course, we're under leveled. Perhaps I should consider giving the net trick the lucky egg to hold and turn the XP share on. Pretty sure I have that thing off. Simple iron head. I'll have to take it down. Okay, next up is Kingja, who we can keep the Roth going in for. For a power click. Wait, I actually do have something I can talk to you guys about. I was able to get my hands on the Oraz demo version. And I actually did try to record it for you guys on Tuesday when I actually got it. But of course, something just had to go wrong and I had to lose my recording. Let me tell you, it was pretty fun. The demo was amazing. I was able to get Mega Glalie, which I will be transferring to my full copy of Omega Ruby when I get it. And you'll definitely see it in the playthrough. So I'm pretty sure it was the original demo video where I was talking about the team I wanted to use. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Just about to start. Okay, good. And the team I wanted to use, uh, team I want to use and I hope I will use is going to be Sceptile, Camerupt, Wall Rain, uh, cosplay Pikachu or Linoon, so it's probably going to be one or the other. Uh, Flygon and then Glalie. And besides for cosplay Pikachu, that's like a that's just that's just a plain Gen three team.
Here we go, people. We got so many of these useless badges that mean nothing to us now. All so that we can travel through a mountain. Honestly, I can't wait to see what the Orad's Victory Road will be like. It would probably be amazing. That was extremely unnecessary. Who pulls a stairway up flat and then just angles it? So here we are, people. Victory Road. The Pokemon we catch in here will be the last one ever. So let's just go ahead and get this over with. So. I did not expect a battle. I did not. So this a train is going to go ahead and send out her Weavile. I'm not sure if 15 levels below this. Please don't die on me, Minetric. Please don't die after this one turn. Don't die. Don't. Da, da. Uh, I knew I shouldn't. I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew it. I just knew I shouldn't have done that. Uh. Dang it! No, Cross, just, just finish it off. I don't care anymore. We cannot keep anyone alive. We've gone into the Nuzlocke curse! Ah. You know, I should have talked about the Nuzlocke curse a long time ago. I just didn't want to because I was in denial that I had it. But I think I have it, people. The Nuzlocke curse is, as soon as you start losing a Pokemon, you can't stop losing them. And you just keep losing and losing them until you're out of Pokemon. All the effort I just made into leveling up that main that Electric to level 1 to a level 45 main net trick. Down the drain to a stupid Ice Punch Weavile. Okay, so the first encounter is going to be a horde of Floatizels. <coughs> you know what, why the heck not? I'll show you guys a bomb of snows, a capable mega. Even though I may not use him much, but better time than now then. Yep. Two megas in this gameplay. Two. Count them. Two. Now the most tedious part about horde battles, the non-stop attacks. Why do you have to be so slow about us? No, you're like... Like 16 levels above these things. <laughs> Thankfully, we have the hill doing minor damage. Now to repeat the tedious process all over again. Yay. If we don't get anything good from our last one of trades, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and add Bear Tick to the team. Bear Tick is pretty much movement ready, I believe. Need to take out two more Floatzel. <sighs> there we 
go. Just one more. After I take out this this one here, then I'll probably going to go for grass whistle. Help ensure the catch. Grass whistle, then Pokeball Chuck. And now the hill's gone. Okay, the bomb snow, I have faith in you. You can survive this one last double hit. Yep. Yep. Okay, now with people, do your job. We have like eight repeat balls. How can we not catch this one float soul with this with this regular pulse ball catch rate? Three. And caught. So let's go ahead and one to trade it off one last time. Floatizel, the sea weasel Pokemon. It floats using its well-developed flotation sack. It assists in rescues of drowning people. No, I don't want to nickname it. Looks like I accidentally nicknamed it a space thing. But it looks like it didn't affect it at all. I'm going to want to trade it off and cut to when I add someone back to the team to replace Manetric. And perhaps the rest of the victory road, I'm just going to speed through. Because we're already 17 minutes in to victory road. 17. Heck, I may have to just stop halfway through if this goes normally. Yeah, I'm just going to stop halfway through. I'll be able to record tomorrow anyway. Okay, so just so you guys know that I am trying though, this is being recorded on Thursday, October 23rd. And thankfully, my school day was a half day today. And okay, our last person is I Heart Ghost the Most from Zombina in Canada, British Columbia. Give us something good. Something good, something good. Rubbish. Rubbish. I can't believe I'm saying this. I just can't believe this. We actually got a good trade. Okay? I'm not kidding. This is actually good trade. I'm actually going to go add Trubbish to the team. I'll cut and see you guys soon. Okay guys, so it's actually the next day after I originally finished the recording for this episode. And it turns out some of the stuff is too long for me to record, like to transfer the video over to my photos and upload to YouTube. So I pretty much had to cut off the grinding for Victory Road. So I will explain to you all what happened. Pretty much we just got a bunch of levels on Trubbish, who was level 1. I'm not going to explain moves or natures or any of that stuff. And we did end up losing a Bomber Snow, though, to a Leafeon with a uh, Aerial Ace. And we're actually not done with Victory Road yet. We also, we got to the point where we were about beating our rival. So, yeah, I am sorry I couldn't get that stuff to you. But it was really not going to be worth it anyway. So, once again, thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe for more YouTube videos. And later tonight, I'll probably be able to get another episode up for you guys. If not, then tomorrow. So I guess that'll be it for now. I'm the Pokemon Brother. Out.